Peanut butter bacon time at Sonic. This is CBS News, Texas. The Arctic blast is here. Luckily, we're seeing a lot less snow and ice than expected, but we are keeping track of road conditions all across the Metroplex. Here's a live look at Dallas this morning, and we will check in there shortly. We're also keeping an eye on road conditions in Tarrant County. Most of you might be home from school or work on this Martin Luther King Jr. holiday, but we want to make sure you're safe if you have to hit the roads this morning. And even if you're not seeing snow flurries, everyone is feeling the freeze. Our first alert weather team is keeping track of the Arctic air and your first alert forecast. Good morning and thank you for waking up with us on CBS News Texas at 6 o'clock. I'm Keith Russell. We have team coverage this morning keeping track of the blast that has swept across North Texas. We have Dominus Brown and Brittany Rainey keeping a close eye on the forecast. Madison watching the roads and we'll have a live look at the weather conditions all across North Texas all morning long. But we start with meteorologist Dominus Brown with your first alert forecast and Dominus this is the worst has have we seen the worst yet you know we still have a few more hours of some blowing snow in parts of the area areas of freezing drizzle and even rain out there but here's the deal it's going to get even colder as we go through later tonight we have a winter weather advisory though until noon for most of north texas including the metroplex we've got some areas of snow causing some problems on some of our roads we need to be extra careful and check things out here at dfw airport we've only seen about maybe a little bit more than an inch of snow yeah you'll see it right there and more snow is likely over portions of the area this morning. We've seen lake effect snow in our area today. How about that? I'll take the snow any day over freezing rain and you'll see on first alert radar. We're still tracking some of those bands of snow uh, moving over the lake here from north to south in areas in Dallas County, also for Tarrant County, and we're also seeing some of that toward uh, Cedar Hill, DeSoto, a uh, Duncanville area near Mansfield, Midlothian, also seeing some of those bands near Keene and Parker here in Johnson County and even Tarrant County near down Downtown Fort Worth, Forest Hill there. Arlington has seen some snow this morning uh, toward Saginaw, and you'll see toward White, White Settlement and Benbrook. We've been seeing some snow bands out there. Uh, most of the freezing rain is going to be confined toward Corsicana, Palestine, and you'll notice even more of the ice is mainly moving away from us. So we'll take the ice, uh, we'll take the snow over the ice any day here. You'll see on first alert future cast as most of that indicated with these pink colors will mainly stay to our south and east today. Overall, though, we'll likely have some bands of snow kind of wrapping up mid to late morning. Then by noon, things really start to kind of wrap up with the wintry precip. We'll see a little peak of sunshine or two before the clouds move back in later tonight. But the cold will be sticking around. Now, when we talk about how much snow we could still see up to an inch, especially in this sweet spot here in the Metroplex, all right? Tarrant, Dallas counties, toward Dayton County, Frisco, you seeing some snow this morning, up to about a tenth of an inch of a light sleet and even some ice toward the south and east toward Corsica. Canada, pa uh, Palestine, and Athens, and Tyler. And around the Metroplex, most likely less than a quarter of an inch of snow and more of that dusting. But below freezing temperatures for everybody. We got to get the Brittany Rainey because you're standing by to let us know that the cold is sticking around for a little bit. It definitely is. Even though the precipitation is going to come to an end in a couple of hours, that cold, we're not going to be able to shake it until Wednesday afternoon. We have a hard freeze warning in place for areas north of I-20, including the Metroplex. And this is issued when we get those temperatures in the single digits below 10 degrees. We will likely see this extended south of I-20 for tonight when we get another push of Arctic air in the region. That's just going to reinforce the dangerous cold that we have in place right now and then make it even colder down south around Hillsborough and Corsicana. That's where we're seeing those temperatures in the teens this morning, but you'll notice up along the Red River, we're starting off with temperatures in the single digits. Even in Fort Worth, we're waking up to about 8 to 9 degrees. We have to remember that wind is still out of the north, 10 to 15 miles an hour. So we have wind chills that are below zero in a lot of locations. It feels like seven below in McKinney, Sherman, Gainesville, over into Bowie, even down towards Hillsborough and Cleburne. We're seeing those wind chills below zero right now. So throughout the morning hours, we are going to hover right around that zero degree mark and at our warmest feel maybe in the teens later today. So it's not surprising that we have a wind chill advisory in place through Tuesday for areas north of I-20. That gets extended south of I-20 for tonight. 
So as you're planning your day, plan to stay inside. And if you are going to be outdoors, make sure you cover up any of that exposed skin. Temperatures only in the 20s this afternoon. We look at similar conditions for your Tuesday. We'll start off with wind chills to about 10 below. And then tomorrow at our warmest, we'll actually feel close to 20 degrees, Madison. But it's Wednesday that we finally see that sunshine in 40s. Yeah, and we will all be looking forward to that warm up. Hey, I want to show you some views outside of the Metroplex right now and, and what it looks like in your neck of the woods. However, there's quite a few tech stock cams that look like this this morning, and this may be what your windshield looks like if you parked outside. We've got ice basically covering and coating many of our tech stock lenses across North Texas, and this is something that occurred in basically the last 30 minutes. Earlier, I was showing you the same view of 377 near I-20, and you could actually see the roadway. So if you did park outside, you're going to need to give yourself some extra time to get that windshield completely free of any ice or snow that may have collected. I want to show you a couple of current road conditions. These are brand new snapshots that I got from TxDOT. This is 183 and industrial kind of paints that picture for you of what we've been saying all morning that the highway main lanes may be clear and problem free, but it's going to be those side streets that are a little bit more dicey that weren't necessarily pre treated. The same is true for I 30 at Camp Bowie. Keep in mind, I've been telling you the overpasses elevated surfaces could be the most problem prone this morning and this portion of I-30 is elevated over I-30. So it's not just your big interchanges like 30 and 35W you have to worry about, but also those portions of interstates that just may be a little bit elevated over some of the side streets. So keep that in mind. Some of your bigger interchanges that I'm still seeing a couple of problem spots with 35W at I-30 in downtown Fort Worth. We've already had a couple of vehicles spin out on it earlier this morning and then I-30 at 161, which is the Bush Turnpike in Grand Prairie. That's where Jason Allen was earlier this morning and he noted that there was a slick spot as you headed northbound on the Bush Turnpike trying to get on I-30 eastbound. So TxDOT, the North Texas Tollway Authority, trying to treat those spots that are more problem prone, but Keith, obviously they can't treat everything at once, so they're having to prioritize those issues. Yeah, priority is the key, but hopefully they make their way around every place as soon as they can, Madison. Thank you so much.